Hey folks, welcome to Butterfly Bricks, hope you're all well. In today's video, I'm having a wander around Broughty Ferry. This is an area within the city limits of Dundee, and it's where I live. We're going to explore what the new normal is now that we're in phase two, and what changes are affecting us. I did a video a few months back showing a deserted Dundee city centre, and I was stunned at the sight. I was panicking about family I have overseas, and I was hugely concerned with the lack of action by other governments. Now I'm spending an afternoon looking for where I can spend some money and what changes have taken place and why it's important for any local community. Now, COVID-19 has hugely affected all our lives across the world and some more severe than others. And although many people have enjoyed the time with family and children, many have been profoundly affected by the loss of a loved one, not being able to have a proper funeral and not being able to travel, and sadly the difficulty of not being in contact with others and the feeling of desperate isolation, a bit like this guy, is having some serious mental health issues. Along with the threat of job loss, increasing numbers of thefts, home invasions and domestic abuse, it's like really difficult and stressful. And when you've completed Netflix, realised the limitations of Disney+, Plus, and even a jigsaw puzzle, the PS4, reading Wikipedia, or the garden isn't keeping you distracted, it can all get a bit too much. But there are green shoots. Yes, there's sadness, but there's also hope. I'm here at the end of Brook Street at my friend Zoe's fantastic little place, Sweet Pea Cafe. She's been open for a few days now and what a relief. Broughty Ferry has a lot of dog walkers who frequent the waterfront and this is a good pit stop on the way. It's takeaway only of course and she's kitted out the shop excellently with perspex screens, all the sanitary stuff required and the contactless card payment is on hand too. I've bought some yummy cakes and some juice for the kids, couple of pound, it's my first stop. The florist next door usually has a fantastic selection of plants and flowers and we love seeing this on our walks. There's activity inside though as they're doing online and phone orders. They have their collection point and all the notices are up explaining how to be safe. The pet shop across the road is open and looking lovely with the plants outside. Just around the corner, whoop, there's a train coming. That feels normal now. Ice Gems Coffee Shop is open. She's been open a wee while actually and has been doing deliveries and takeaways. Fantastic. So happy this is open. I'll be back for coffee during the week. Across the road, Clementine the Grocers has a queue outside which is great to see as well. Now I'm down Grey Street. The Bakers here is open. They've got a decent bit of interior space, quite handy for social distancing in the queue there. And to my surprise, Fairy Fish. Fantastic! I'll be down there next week for my weekly shop. We're so lucky in the ferry to still have an actual fishmonger. So many of them are closing down. Toy Master, way! Obviously a favourite of mine as I do buy a lot of Lego. The best thing about the shop being open is the minifigures. She's got the new Series 20 in stock and unlike other shops, she opens them up, finds out which one it is, puts the number on the top so you can actually buy the figure you want. Brilliant! Not only that, they often have loads of retired Lego sets that you just can't buy anymore and they don't cost the earth. I've spent £40 in here so far. On that note, if you want money saving Lego tips, how to videos and rebuilds, why not subscribe and click the bell for notifications, it really helps the channel. Now back to it. I've crossed to the end of the street, nice to see even the art store is open online. I've been doing a bit of painting myself with the kids, not quite worthy of a shop like this yet, but you never know. And we're on to Visoki's for ice cream. And even on a day like this, there was a wee queue. They still have the full range of gorgeous ice cream. £10 for only four tubs on a slushy. Not bad. Well, I've headed back down Brook Street and I'm passing Holland and Barrett, which has remained open throughout. Superdrug is back now. And across the road, Prego, well, that's the way I pronounce it, and Tiger Lily. They're highly regarded shops and they're getting ready, it seems, too, for opening. I'm sure they've been available online. I know Tiger Lily is in Aberdeen also. And they now do their own clothes as well. So we wish them all luck. I'm at the heart of it all here with Tesco, Boots and Scott Brothers The Butcher which have been open throughout and this is a busy busy day today. You could almost not realise anything was any different, loads of traffic on the road. Delivery truck, that's been a very common sight the whole way through the lockdown. I think we've all been surprised by how much you can get by with online deliveries these days and certainly the future of retail being more orientated this way is going to accelerate. Subway, Ruff and Fraser, The Bakers and Timpsons is back. And across the road, Gilly's department store is open too. Oh, and there's a sale. Brook Street certainly at first glance really looks like it's recovering. 
down Fort Street and the Fort Pub Hotel is building a beer garden at the back, which is fab. It's going to make a difference for them, I'm sure. I know it'll be some time until hotels and pubs can get back. That's in Phase 3, and they're obviously getting ready for that. I hope it works out for them and their Italian restaurant too. Across the road, Fort Street Motors, the Harbour Auto Centre. I got a new battery last week and I'm in there again next week for a few more things, keeping it local. The Eagle has this rather lovely memories board and miss you notes. For so many of us, the lack of these social interactions and celebrations is really difficult. The very idea of going out for a night out seems like a distant memory. Lulu and M getting ready in there, I think. They're online as well, and this is a really fab looking shop. The Fisherman's Tavern, or The Fish as it's known. Great pub. Bellhaven actually did a good job when they renovated this place. Hopefully it'll be filled nice soon. It's one of the oldest pubs in the ferry. I hope they can all get back to trading when it's safe. And at the end of the road, the Lifeboat Station. Had staff at work outside today. It's really crucial that people don't put themselves in danger on the water as they are reduced in patrols. The ship in. They're doing some painting. I love this wee place. They normally have their outdoor seating. Can't wait for that to resume. And there's folk out fishing on the jetty. What a great sight. Ferry House Care Home. We always give a wave to the great residents. I hope they can get some visitors as soon as it's safe. Past this house with a Doctor Who Dalek. <laughs> what a great sense of humour. Love it. Construction workers getting ready for the work on the flood defences and Broughty Ferry Castle. Closed of course, but hopefully it can open soon for visitors and it's well worth a visit. Castle Green Park deserted. Looks like winter. Wow. Along with Barnhill Rock Gardens. I think we've missed this the most. We are very lucky to have such great facilities in our area, particularly hard if you don't have a garden without access to places like this. It makes you realise what you don't have, but at least we can walk about and then there's the beach. It's quite warm today. The beach has a few people on it. I think it's mental how this gets trashed so much. I actually avoid it, and I know a lot of people who live here do as well. Why the council don't employ, like, litter patrols during the summer months to issue fines is beyond me. They have traffic wardens hidden behind every door, but the beach is always cleaned up retrospectively. Canoes and a few boats are in here too. Nice to see some sensible craft making use of the river. The news agent around the corner popped in for a few things just as usual and back down King Street. The tapas place has some activity, perhaps they're doing takeaway, I'll have to check another time. Great if they can get some business, it's a very popular and highly regarded place. I'm all the way back down in Brook Street and Little Piggy Shoe Shop is back open. They do fit into my appointments online, great to see they're back. And now Gracie's, open for takeaway and they have the outside seating area which has been allowed for people to wait. I'm popping in to annoy Aaron and Chris for a coffee. This is an absolute hot spot in the ferry, one of the busiest places and thankfully they've been busy today. I also popped into the Cake Guru via appointment for icing for an upcoming birthday cake that I'm making. Sorry to anyone I missed out, I really was just wandering about. I'm sure there's lots more going on and even more in Dundee City Centre, but after the virus, we must build a resilient Scotland. One which is able not only to withstand the economic, environmental and social disruptions we will face in the future, but which is capable of providing good lives for the people of Scotland every day. We need to create a resilient society, capable of dealing with change. The new normal must be about high levels of equality, strong social cohesion and public trust, great provision of public infrastructure and services and high levels of participation from citizens. We can start by helping out our local businesses, those who are providing services to our community, who employ our friends, relatives, our kids and me and you. My channel is all about Lego, saving money on it, how-to videos and rebuilds, but I really wanted to give people another bit of hope that things will get better. Now, if you want more future content on Lego, what's going on in Dundee and the surrounding area, then subscribe and let me know in the comments what you feel about Phase 2. Are you eager to get out and about? And a big thank you, by the way, for hanging on until the end. Well, I hope you liked the video. Check out my other videos here too, and I'll see you next time. Bye!